So good afternoon, good day. I extend my greetings to everyone um, in every continent of the world. I pray that the grace, the love of God will continue to be with you all in the name of Jesus. And I pray that the light of his word will not leave us in Jesus' name. So today let's study from the word of God. Our topic today is faith in distress. Faith in distress. Um, one of the reasons why we are taking this topic is because um, we have experienced that with time there was a possibility for people to be able to retain faith when um, they are at a comfortable time. But then it is getting a little bit more difficult for people to be able to actualize faith when they are in distress. So today we will look at the book of um, Exodus chapter 17. We are going to read from verse 1 to 4. It says, uh, verse 1 to 4, And all the congregation of the children of Israel journeyed from the wilderness of sin after their journeys, according to the commandments of the Lord, and pitched in Rephidim. And there was no water for the people to drink. Wherefore the people did chide with Moses, and said, Give us water that we may drink. And Moses said unto them, Why chide with me? Wherefore do ye tempt the Lord? And the people tested for the water, and the people murmured against Moses, and said, Wherefore is this that thou hast brought us up out of Egypt to kill us and our children and our cattle with tests? And Moses cried unto the Lord, What shall I do to unto these people? They be almost ready to stone me. Now, this is um, a narrative of when the children of Israel entered into um, Rephidim, a particular place called Rephidim, uh, after they had passed the wilderness of sin. That's after they have crossed the Red Sea. And um, they... Of course, in a desert place, there will be no water to drink. So they began to bitterly complain of the absence of water, of their taste, tastiness. And um, they were doing it in such a way that it became like a protest, as in it wasn't comfortable for them anymore. But uh, so they forgot, kind of, had to quickly forget that... Um, the God who has brought them out of the land of Egypt was the same God who has made them to cross safely um, the Red Sea. And um, he is the same God that if they have asked for water, even where there was no water, he was capable of providing it for them. So uh, our topic again today, faith and distress. It goes this way that whenever that we are in um, any distress, Whenever we are in any troubling situations, whenever we are passing through challenges, passing through um, difficulties, it is very much more we should know as Christians that it is very easy because we are human beings to quickly forget um, the miraculous manifestations of God previously in our lives. And then we begin to doubt. And when we begin to lose faith in E that is greater than the world, then the, the, it will give the opportunity for Satan to be able to come in. Don't forget that it says without faith it is impossible to please God. So when there is no longer faith, the reverence for God will develop, it will reduce. And from then we can begin to walk into sin. Obviously there is nothing that we can get except for manifestations of grace. There is nothing that we can get except true faith so we must continue to hold on to faith in fact eh, faith is mostly useful in distress faith is mostly useful in distress that god faith they say um hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 says faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen it means that you are not yet seeing it it is not looking like it um things are looking more difficult day by day but then you are just having faith in God. Don't forget, hope and faith are different. Well, faith means you have faith in God. Hope means you just believe it. Optimism. Faith means you 
are you have put your hope completely in God. So when you put your hope completely in God, just know it that it is going to happen. Know it that though it is it may not look like that, but it is going to come to manifestation. I don't know whether I remember the place from um, there is a particular um, time like that. I think I think in the book of Chronicles where God was relating with um, Jehoshaphat. And he was saying, you will not see rain, you will not see wind, but the valley will be filled with water. That's exactly what faith is. Most times, it doesn't look like it. But you just put it upon your heart that God, who has told us that if we have faith as little as a mustard seed, we'll be able to move mountains and we'll tell it to move into the sea and it will move. That God is capable of anything. So in your distress, Please have faith. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.